So I decided to get the second video out tonight. Um, again, still battling a cold, so I apologize for any weird sounds in my voice or any weird pauses. Um, I was watching a video by Review Tech USA and also watching uh, some news reports out there about Super Mario Odyssey's file size, 5.7 gigabytes. Um, it's small, right? You know, it's like 600 megabytes or whatever, bigger than the uh, file size, save size allotment for NBA 2K18. But whatever. Um, Nintendo's always been the kings of optimizing and compression when it comes to their games on their hardware. And so uh, I think like Super Mario 3D World on Wii U is only 1.7 gigabytes. I mean, Breath of the Wild, this massive open world game with a world size that's bigger than pretty much most games in existence. Uh... You know, that was only 13 gigabytes. And we need to have an honest conversation about the file size of Super Mario Odyssey. Because I've seen, not so much at Nintendo websites, you know. Like Nintendo Everything and My Nintendo, Nintendo Life. Um, everyone seems to be pretty happy about this file size. And you should be as a Switch owner. Like, like it, that's a decent file size for a game. But it's this idea that the file size of Super Mario Odyssey means that the game itself is not as big and as expansive and as content rich as people are hoping. I have seen this resonate on NeoGAF, I've seen it on Reddit, I've seen it on Twitter. Uh, just a lot of people generally assuming that because Super Mario Odyssey is only 5.7 gigabytes in size, and by the way, this file size was was leaked from the Japanese eShop on Switch, so this comes straight from the horse's mouth. This isn't just speculation or a rumor. Um, I feel like people don't understand why Nintendo game file sizes are as small as they are. And that's something I want to address here. Because... Game file sizes are huge. I think like NAC 2 that just came on a PlayStation 4 is something like 35 or 36 gigs. And what people need to understand is outside of obviously high resolution textures, which are just going to be um, bigger. It, I mean, 4K textures are going to be bigger than 1080p textures. That's just the way it is. Um, file size does not necessarily equate to content richness or does it equate to world size? Um, it can, obviously. Breath of the Wild is 13 gigabytes primarily because of how big that world is. But size alone does not determine how content rich a game is. And that is because most games that you see, those 30 gigs, those 20 gigs, they the what they don't tell you, what they usually don't reveal, is that those game files contained uncompressed files. In some cases, uh, one of the more common things is uncompressed audio files, which are huge. Uh, and this actually was brought to my attention by Spawnwave, who did a video on this as well, where he mentioned some research dug up about a particular game <clears throat> where 35 gigs of the game's actual install file was just uncompressed audio files and this was so it could run on lower end dual core PCs because lower end dual core PCs well <laughs> they don't have the ability to uncompress data fast enough to run a game properly so if the data is already uncompressed that saves in compute time and compute performance and he even went on to point out how some, for some games, it's not just uncompressed audio, it's uncompressed voice acting. So, say you have languages for Japanese, English, Russian, German, um, Spanish, each one of those could be a full gig in size. And so say Breath of the Wild, as an example, had uncompressed audio files, and each language is supported on every version of the game because it's, you know, the, the each version of the game is the same, basically. Um, so you get 13 languages of Breath of the Wild. Each of those 13 languages, uncompressed, could be a gig. Uh, so that's 13 extra gigs. Now you double 13 to 26 just for uncompressed uh voice acting so yeah it's it's definitely something that uh we need to be more considerate of and i think the game he was talking about had to do with titanfall and it's uncompressed audio but it is something that we need to consider because nintendo makes their software 
for a single platform. They don't necessarily have to worry about working across multiple mediums, meaning that they can compress their files a lot. The reason that Nintendo's file sizes are honestly as small as they are is because the games are made for a single platform. That's really it. Nintendo can compress certain things. They know what to compress and what not to compress in their files because they have one base set of hardware that hardware does not change. So they know uh, what they can do and what they can't do. So Super Mario Odyssey is going to be smaller on Nintendo Switch than it would be if it was released on PlayStation 4, Xbox One, PC, and Nintendo Switch. Because in some cases, say a lower-end PC might not be able to run Mario Odyssey very well. So they would need to then go in and uncompress certain files. And you could argue that optimization per platform, right? That they should be able to compress the files for the Switch or compress it for Xbox One and then uncompress it for PC. That's just usually not how the development process works, right? Typically, when you're seeing these giant file sizes for even a game like NAC 2, it's because even on those platforms, it makes sense to uncompress files. Because if you have uncompressed audio, say, in NAC 2, that frees up more of the processing of the system to do other things. So, as an example, NBA 2K18. It's arguably not even close to as big of a world or as content-rich as, say, uh, I mean, it's content-rich but in a different way. But, um, as, uh, you know, Mario Odyssey. But it's going to have a bigger file size because it's going to leave certain file types or certain folders or certain aspects of the game uncompressed because that takes, uh, that takes away some of the processing from the actual unit. So when you see these massive file sizes for games, it doesn't necessarily indicate how big a game is or how content rich it is. Rather, it indicates a developer's choice to remove uh, some of the processing away from the system or away from the platform it is on to enable higher performance and able to push, you know, as an example, pushing higher frame rates, pushing higher resolution, pushing, you know, higher visual fidelity. All of that is possible and even more possible, even more doable when you uncompress certain files that the CPU and GPU no longer have to uncompress themselves when it's presented to you. Because you have to remember, when we use files, like when I watch a compressed video file um, it, it, through a zip folder, my computer is live uncompressing that video as I'm watching it. And that takes up some processing. Versus if I already just unzipped the file straight to my computer and then watch the video, it's no longer uh, pro you know, trying to uncompress that video as I watch it. My CPU usage is lower uh, than it is trying to watch it straight out of the zip file itself. So that's kind of what we're seeing with game file sizes and why they're blowing up. Obviously, 4K assets are a huge part of that on something like an Xbox One X or a PlayStation 4 Pro, but... Uh, even before that, even when we were getting these, these 20, 30, 40, 50 gigabyte game file sizes, a lot of it's because it contains uncompressed game data. And this is to our benefit, as I noted. Uh, NBA 2K18 looks as visually pleasing on Switch as it does because there is likely a lot of uncompressed assets, whether it's the music, whether it is uh, the textures, whatever they chose to leave uncompressed is for our benefit to maximize the performance of the Nintendo Switch. So, yeah, uh, Mario Super Mario Odyssey being 5.7 gigs isn't really a big deal. Uh, it has zero impact necessarily on how big the world is and zero impact on how content rich it is. It just means that Nintendo doesn't necessarily have any uncompressed files. Uh, they were able to compress the game down to 5.7 gigs because it is custom built for Switch. Now, could Mario Odyssey look better and have more physics and more things going on with it if it did th things like uncompress the audio and suddenly the, the file size balloons up to, you know, 15 gigs? Of course it could. But Nintendo generally chooses to instead compress everything and make it all work within the ecosystem. So what I'm saying is any Nintendo game that comes out doesn't really push the Nintendo Switch to its absolute performance maximum because Nintendo isn't interested in hitting that performance maximum with most of their internal games. They would rather compress everything to make it more convenient on the end user. 
Uh, and obviously, compressing stuff makes it cheaper for Nintendo when they're using cartridges. It makes it cheaper for them on their servers. When we're downloading data, it might be it might seem like it's free, but Nintendo has to pay for that connection and pay for that data to be transferred. And smaller file sizes is better for consumers and better for Nintendo. Um, whereas obviously larger file sizes are better for performance and add to visual quality. So it, it's it's a fine balance. We know which way Nintendo leans. I don't think anyone on this channel or anyone else is honestly looking at the file size of Super Mario Odyssey and being like, oh man, 5.7 gigs. I guess we should uh, expect a, you know, a game that is short and doesn't have a lot of content. No. Come on, guys. Let's, let's be realistic. Is it the size of Breath of the Wild? Probably not. I mean, let's be real. Breath of the Wild's world size is massive. Mario was not that big. But Super Mario Odyssey is going to be big enough and content-rich enough. And we need to stop overanalyzing uh, file sizes because there's so many factors that go into why certain games that seemingly are smaller and have less content have you know much bigger file sizes. Uh, there's a lot of unknown factors. We don't know the individual choices developers are making, but I'm just trying to give you the general gist that larger file sizes generally exist to uh, take away, uh, basically because of uncompressed files. That's the, that, that, that's the gist of it. Anyways, um, I'm still really looking forward to Super Mario Odyssey. Can't wait. You know, I mean, what? It is September 16th, man. We're, we're a month and a week and a half away. I, I'm beyond pumped also i'd like to know if any of you out there are playing uh, metroid samus returns i do not own it yet i am debating on picking it up i would like to know your guys's thoughts on that game so far um yeah i am the thunder of chance from the thunder prime if you like this video you know what to do and if you dislike the video hit that dislike button subscribe for more and folks i'm starting to feel a little better can't you tell getting almost back to my normal self still got the bad nasty sore throat anyways Catch you in the next one.